We are now the proud owner of a new tattoo, but that is only the first step. We still need to dress appropriately. We also need to get sponsored. And we also need to harass someone. So let's work on that. Let's see if we can find a viable candidate. And oh look, there is one right here. Welcome, Monsieur. Table for one? Oh, you are not here to eat. What do you want? Just what kind of restaurant is this, anyway? We have been in the same location for over two years. That's 14 in restaurant years. Our chef is Chef Sabiro, a graduate of the Donna School of Culinary Arts in Oakhurst, California. Calif? Is that California? It was until half of the state fell into the Pacific Ornia Ocean. Are you an organization, man? If I were in the organization, I wouldn't be in the restaurant business. I'd be skimming the fat of whatever profits guys like me make. I'd be preying on the little people, the people who actually work for a living. I'd be a leech on society. I'd be scum. So is that a no? What are your specials today? Our featured appetizers tonight are lawyer ex pate with a walnut confit and steamed mussels with saffron and fennel. For a main course, we are offering a delicious broiled main mobster with drawn butter and Chechen with 40 clones of Gaelic. Is that real drawn butter? Not really, but it is a very convincing lithograph. Is that real mobster? Do go on. I'm fascinated. For dessert, we have assorted Belgian tarts and a spectacular vanilla souffle flayed right here at the table. It all sounds delicious. Perhaps you would like something. Not a chance in hell. How can anybody ever decide? It can be a problem, particularly when we have only one serving left of a particular special. Aha. Uh -huh. One night, the demand got so outrageous that I had to pry two women apart. Really? We, oui, they are our last two, so we had to split them and serve them as half portions. Thank you, I've lost my appetite. We? Oui? How's business? Are you from the organization? I am aspiring to be. Huh, what a shame. Business is fair, thank you for asking. The worst thing about being in my business is the organization, but I'm only telling you that because I know you can keep a secret. Your head is full of them. What happened to his accent? I think I just heard somebody drop a fork. Pardon me, is your name by any chance Perry Ye? Oui? Who is inquiring? Hey, I'm here to harass you about your late protection payment. Oh, terrific. Can't you see the lunch crowd I've got here? I'm sorry, I'll come back after they've cleared out. I would appreciate it. Hold on. That's not how you harass someone. 
Are you ready to be harassed? No, my lunch crowd is still here. What time do you think they'll be leaving? After lunch. Can it be classed as harassment if you're doing it while it's convenient for them? Jake, you are too polite. Let's find a way to clear out this crowd out here. I didn't do it. You got anything that would clear out a crowd? I got good stink bombs. Can I get one from you? Maybe. What's it worth? What do you want? You got any blasting caps? How about some really good chocolate? No, but I'll tell you what. I'll trade you a bloodsicle for a stink bomb. What's that? Ice cream. That's nice that you still have ice cream. It's not really ice cream, but I like it because it spreads rapidly when you set it on fire. Okay, fair enough. I'll get you a bloodsicle. Go back to what you were doing. Don't lose a finger. I am intrigued. What is this bludgeon made out of? Right, we have this ice cream wagon. But there's no vendor. But there is a lock right here. The only option that we have right now is to pick the lock. Okay, I didn't actually notice the ice cream man was sitting at the restaurant. Okay, maybe we have inconvenienced him, but still, it's too late now. Wow, we are really giving up this very valuable piece of chocolate for this bloodsicle. Although it's just sitting in, a, in our inventory, so it may as well have some use. Oh. Ah, okay. Only a small taste, that's fine. I'm not sure if this will still be le still be useful later, but we will find out. Watch this! <laughs> See? That's why I wanted you to buy it for me. They won't sell them to kids my age. You evil fiend. Not yet, but someday I hope to be. Why are these bloodsicles legal to sell on these streets if they can cause that much damage
I like that it has the word stink written on it as well. That is one impressive stink bomb. Mon Dieu, please do not leave, Madame, Monsieur. Je suis... Ah, oh, God damn it. Oui? I think I just heard somebody drop a fork. Oh. I was expecting additional dialogue. I mean, when a stink bomb like that is dropped on your pavement, I'm sure that you would have something to say about it. Anyway, let's go and harass him again. Your lunch crowd seems to have cleared out. You owe us some money, I believe. You better pay up or else. Oh yes, it's harassment time, isn't it? Damn straight, mister. Very well, go ahead. If you don't give us our money pretty soon, we're gonna have to get tough. Maybe damage all of this, okay? So let's get with it. Mm-hmm. So, consider yourself harassed. That's it? You call that harassment? That's hardly even making a nuisance of yourself. Here, grab me by the collar. Now shake me. Not so gently. What am I, a baby? Like that? It'll do. Now hit me. Do I have to? And you're in the organization. Come on. Okay, slap me then. Beautiful. Harder. Come on, my grandmother could harass me better than that. Rough me up. Throw me against the brick wall. Punch me in the stomach. Wow, Jake, you're a monster. No, like this. That kind of thing. Now, do you want to give it a try? Hopeless. That was the worst harassment in the whole glorious history of harassment. Okay, I'll have the money by tomorrow, yada yada yada. Now, if you'll excuse me. Oh, Jake. You fiend, you. Hold on, 413342? Well that's another task complete. Now we need to find a sponsor. And, oh look, speak of the devil. Hello. How are you? I can't complain. Specifically, I can't complain about my lumbago and my sciatica. That sounds rough. I'm sorry. And 
my rheumatism and my corns and my bunions and my gangrenous toe. Wow, that's bad. And my goiter and my osteoporosis and my arthritis and my psoriasis. You know, you could turn this into a song and make a lot of money. And my cataracts and the vapors and the melancholia and my St. Vitus dance. Hey, do I gotta listen to this? Well... That's okay, I thought it was kind of catchy. Hello? You're not in the organization by any chance, are you? Oh yes, they have bingo. Would you sponsor me? I'd be honored. I think you'd make a very nice crook. Stand up and let me look at you. Yes, you do well. Oh, this is so exciting. Where do I sign? There you are. You'll let me know how you're doing, won't you? I want to be able to tell people my protege is successful. And you come to me with any assignments you don't know how to handle, okay? Of course. And thank you. Goodbye, goodbye. Ah, oh, that was nice of her. Rosie Freeman. We will make her proud. We will try to give Indian burns to everyone who we meet. So we are now sponsored and we are now... Well, we've now harassed someone. It's now time to look the part. We need to tie our hair back. And we also need to make some sunglasses, or find some. But right now, all we have is this tinting. But we can take a pair of glasses from somewhere. And that somewhere is right here. We just need to find a way to apply this to this. Oh look! That's a surprise! Yeah? Almost finished? Yeah, I haven't been able to find my utility knife. Oh, that's it. When I'm done, I'm checking into the Macaulay Calkin Clinic, and I'm having a complete workup. What if I told you I'm responsible for all the things you've been losing? You wouldn't do something like that. You're a nice guy. Read my mind. I did, I did. You're okay. But I appreciate you trying to make me feel better. Sorry, I'm taking up too much of your time. That's all right. I'm just about finished, so actually your timing worked out perfectly. We don't have to give this knife back, but I want to because, well, it's nice to be nice. Really, I can't accept any money. I wasn't going to give you money. I just had to adjust my boys.
Nice. I believe that we are now ready, so let's head back inside. This seems to be in order. Have you met all your prerequisites? I think I do. Let's see. Smart choice of tattoo. Most of us end up getting one of the UPC tattoos anyway. It makes payday go so much quicker. If I end up making a mistake here, it takes weeks to untangle. Yep, these are both just fine. Congratulations, Mr. Stonebender. I have a feeling being a third-rate thug is just the beginning for you. Just a moment and I'll get your license. Thanks for waiting. You'll be receiving your class schedule and information packet in the next few days. And at your first class, you'll be fingerprinted and photographed. Thank you. I'll try to make you proud. Now we can enter the lounge. Actually, before we do... Yeah, that doesn't help. Hold on. This doesn't say our name. We could have stole this to someone and saved a lot of time. I ain't seen your license yet, Cupcake. Read it and weep. That's good enough. Darn tootin' it is. All right. That's fine. We only need to be here anyway, as we need to enter this fridge. Yo, you trying to steal one of our stolen organs?
All right, so we can't just take a kidney from the fridge. Maybe we can swap it with something. I'm glad Josie wasn't around to see that. I just know she'd give me a hard time about it. Organization, West Side Drugs and Prostitution Department. Please hold. Thank you. Ah, if it isn't the shakiest thug in the West. Forgive me, I'm basically a nice person. Then get out of that line of work. If I'm going to put my life into someone's hands, I'd like them to at least be competent. Why not give me some of that money you owe the organization now? Maybe I get extra credit. First of all, you'd have no intention of turning in that money, and I'd end up having to pay it all over again. Second of all, I already told you I'd have it tomorrow. Now enough already. And don't make me have to have me warn myself for you again. Have you ever had any dealings with Dr. Duplicitous? Are you out of your mind? Keep your voice down. You're going to get me in trouble with someone from the organization who knows what they're doing. Okay, what can you tell me about that guy? He doesn't exist. You looked lonely. I was, but I was enjoying it. I'm a little afraid to say this, but I'm hungry. Well, we have some leftovers from lunch if you'd like something. Suppose it doesn't hurt to keep your wheels greased. If I recall, we have some salmon coquettes, some haggis, some snake and kidney pie. And for dessert, we have several flavors of gigolo and some very nice creme goulet. Kidney, you say? Make mine skank and kidney pie, please. An interesting choice, sir. I was mistaken. We have a leftover kidney, but the chef says we are not going to cut up our 20-foot anaconda just for one slice of pie. Is this a human kidney? What do you care? It's free. If it's all the same to you, maybe I'll have this later. That's what I figured, so I put it into a to-go jar. That was very thoughtful of you. All right, let's try that again. Nice. Oh well, it's now time to see a man about a kidney. Well, I hope that this is the right one. <laughs> 